Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a fish hair baby brown trout. The hook I have in a vise is a four extra long size eight streamer hook. I'm going to use 70 denier black thread. I'm gonna start that behind the eye and I'm gonna come back about maybe three eye lengths. There's one, two, there's about three. Coming back about one-fifth of the way. Going to start out for the body I'm going to use some yellow crystal flash. I'm going to take about three strands of this crystal flash. Two or three strands. I think I only got two here but that'll do. We're going to tie that in. This baby brown trout, trout are uh, cannibals, they'll eat their young, so any kind of vulnerable fish in the water gets eaten by another fish, doesn't matter if it's their own young. We're going to take this uh, yellow crystal flash, we're going to wrap that, we're going to wrap that down and then back. I'm going to use my rotary feature to do this. I'm gonna have to pause there because I didn't put it on I didn't put the bobbin on the cradle so I'm gonna just have to pause once in a while and unwrap it because as you're wrapping the thread is going is getting wrapped up also. We just want to kind of put a yellow color onto the hook shank you really don't even need a body a body color on the hook shank you can leave it blank and then just start all the rest of the materials without putting this crystal flash on and now I'm gonna bring that back forward And you can see how that bobbin will wrap itself up the and we're gonna just bring that right up and finish that off take that bobbin and just tie that off and we still want to remain about two to three two or three eye lengths from the eye of the hook. Just cut that off. I got a little bit of a tag there. I'm going to just tie that in. I'm going to turn my hook over. The first material I'm going to use is a white fish hair. This is basically fake wig. And I have some already cut. This is basically like costume wig material. I have some cut and I'm going to get rid of the real long and real scraggly ones. They're bent and stuff like that. But you don't want to cut it. You want to keep it at a taper. So if you cut it off and you have a square end, you want to pull them and get them uneven. We want this to be one and a quarter the hook shank. We're going to tie that right on the bottom. And it's going to be the belly. And I'm going to remove the excess. Leave a decent tag there so you can make sure that you get them tied in there good. Just divide that hook with the fibers. Let me get that a little better. Take my bodkin needle there and just divide that. There we go, that's looking much better. Now at this point, if you have a piece of red marabou or some even some red fish hair, you can put in a uh, throat there. Maybe if you have a little bit of red bucktail, 
can use that for a throat. It's going to use that. I'll make a little throat there. I only want that to be about maybe one third the length of our belly, if that. I'm going to trim that off and tie that in. Now I'm going to take GSS Pearl and whenever I use the GSS I always just pull it off and break it. Just grab it and break some of it off. And we're going, we want that to be no longer than the belly, the white belly. Just going to tie that in, leaving a bunch on the front. I like to bring it up and then I'm going to fold it back. It just helps you to avoid a lump there. I'm going to take it and I'm just going to break it off on the back. Just to kind of get it to the, just about the right size there. Take what I broke off and I'm putting that in my in a spare bag. I said it before, I take all of that GSS, the spare or what I break off, I put it in a bag and then I mix it with rabbit hair for making my own crystal flash. Now I'm going to take some uh, yellow fish hair or wig hair and you can see these parts here I have cut. I'm going to take one of them and I'm just going to trim that off. Just take a little bit of that. Now I'm going to get rid of those loose ones and long ones. And now you see it's got a cut end there. I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to make that uneven. Hold it down here at the bottom and just kind of make that uneven there. Got a couple of real long ones there. I'll, I'll trim them off after I get it tied on. I'm going to measure it. I want that just slightly longer than the belly. And measure that up. I'm going to trim this. Bring my thread up towards the eye again. And just like with deer hair, if you kind of hold that at a little bit of an angle and start wrapping that in, and it will wrap in in layers. And it will be very secure on there. Now I'm going to take some brown fish hair and do the same thing. This is uneven. I'm going to lay that on there and we want that just to be the length of the yellow. So I'm going to trim that right off, tie that in. And now we're going to form that head better. Now I'm going to take a pair of grizzly hackle and I'm going to size them up. And I want them to be the length of the top wings. There we go. We size it up and give that the crew cut. And I'm going to cut the, the other one the same size. There we go. And I gave that the crew cut. I'm going to tie them on. And we want to tie them right alongside. we want them on the sides without them rolling like that one did so I'm going to take that one off I'm going to take a pair of flat pliers and I'm going to squash the stem where I'm going to tie it in and that will flatten it out and keep it help keep it from rolling going to take the other one and I'm going to squash that stem and I'm going to tie that in on my side and 
And we're going to tie that in and we're going to cover all of our hackle stem. Give that a whip finish. Trim that off. And now you can fish this just like this, of course. But I'm going to put some eyes on there. I'm going to use the black and gold eyes. They're a little large, but they'll be fine. Just going to stick them on there. Get them even. Now I'm going to take my Deer Creek Diamond Hard UV Resin. I'm going to put some right in the middle. We're going to let that seep in there a little bit. And then we're going to hit it with our UV light. Oh, that'll hold them better. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to fill in the rest with the U with the diamond hard. Get that with the light. And here we have a fish hair baby brown trout. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.